everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to talk about why self-awareness is important for better teaching as well as better learning. As an info product creator, you may create a product that you are super excited about. But the question comes in is that, is your audience actually ready to be able to learn from you? In this vlog, we're going to talk about the importance of self-awareness and identifying whether your learners are ready to learn and whether or not you are ready to teach. I have a story from when I was a gymnastics coach. I used to always come up with new skills and drills and different ways of learning things from my gymnasts. I had a ton of fun with it. The thing is, is that just because I came up with a new activity to do or a new drill to do, it didn't mean that my gymnasts were always ready to learn it. I had to be able to understand where they were at emotionally and physically, and if they were even capable of being able to try my new drill. And they also had to do the self-assessment for themselves. Did they feel ready to do the new drill? It also comes into play as a coach. Was I ready? Was I capable to teach this new skill? Was I able to spot it? That's an important thing. Could I keep the gymnast safe? Did I know what I doing? What I was doing? And did I have the confidence to do that? Because just because I could spot them, if this was a new skill that I was just learning to help gymnasts through, it doesn't mean that I was ready to teach it as well. Maybe I needed some more practice. Understanding the readiness of both yourself and your learners is huge for your course because if either one is not ready, they're not going to be as successful and it could actually cause a lot of agitation and stress for your learners. When somebody is not ready to learn, they're going to have a lot of stress, anxiety, maybe feel overwhelmed and even like very emotional. Sometimes people will try to sort of power through these emotions and tuck them away. And that can work sometimes, but if the feeling is overwhelming and they're really not ready, it's just not going to work. They're not going to be able to learn. And they could even want to try to learn. They could say, you know, this is the year that I'm going to learn how to start up my business and I'm going to take this course and I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave my job but that could actually cause so much stress that it paralyzes them no matter how badly they think they want to do it. Emotional intelligence is the ability to understand what you're feeling and how that actually drives your behaviors. And it also measures your ability to control those emotions and those behaviors. For example, someone with low emotional intelligence, they may get really angry at something and, and start yelling and just not even be able to control themselves. And for the people around them, this could, you know, maybe cause some anxiety or stress because they don't like when that person kind of goes off the deep end. Someone who has a higher emotional intelligence, they would recognize that they're not happy and they're having these feelings of anger, but they would find a way to deal with that rather than just going off the, the cuff at anything that makes them mad. Self-awareness is a key factor in your emotional intelligence because when you know and can recognize how you feel and the behaviors that you're having, sort of like a third party looking in at you, when you can recognize that for yourself, you're going to have better intuition and more confidence and feel more strongly about the decisions that you're making. Generally, people who are more self-aware, they tend to have more confidence, they are more independent, they're sort of a more of a director in their own life because they are able to feel their feelings and adjust their behaviors appropriately. So I'm gonna give you an example from my own life of when I actually was not ready to undergo some type of learning program and, and make a change in my life. Um, a couple years ago, I was learning about the Whole30 program. It's a really great program to help you eat clean whole foods for 30 days. 
I love it. It's not necessarily a lifestyle change, but it's actually becoming more self-aware. I'd done this program successfully in the past and was looking to do it again because I like how I feel when I do it. Um, at the time that I was thinking about doing this, I was actually under a lot of emotional stress from other things going on in my personal life. So I actually thought the Whole30 would be a great thing to add to help me feel better, even though I already had all this other stuff going on. What I didn't really realize was how stressed I already was. I wasn't even aware of the stress inside my body. And then I decided to embark on this like super clean eating program. And it just like made my stress go through the roof. And unfortunately what happened is I ended up getting really sick. I was sick for like three weeks and it all kind of like bombarded me at once and I was overwhelmed and I was exhausted and I was sick. And sort of my lesson there was that I wasn't ready and I didn't recognize that I was ready. And because of that, it was like, I don't want to say failure, but it was not a good situation. And I definitely learned my lesson about listening to myself more and making sure that before I make a commitment to something, that I am ready to fully commit to it. And think about that for your learners too. Someone may sign up for your course because they think they want to do it, and then they might get into it and realize that they're not ready for it, and it ends up kind of being a negative experience for them instead of a positive one. When you are launching your info product or your program or your course, making sure that you have the right people who are ready to take your course is super important. After all, if you get sales for people who aren't ready and they don't even realize that they're ready, um, it's probably just not going to be as successful for them and that's not going to help your business at all. There's a lot of different ways that you can help people self-quantify them, self-qualify themselves. You can use surveys and assessments and different ways of helping people sort of check in and say, am I actually ready for this? Am I the right person to take this? Rather than just focusing on the sales, let's focus on getting the right people in the right products and matching you up with the best customers. I am really interested to hear what you think about this. Have you ever taken something that you were not ready for and you didn't realize you weren't ready for until you got into it, um, either from a teaching or a learning perspective? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. Thanks.